Hey guys, what's up? So I know it's been a while since I've put out a video, but now that summer's here, thank goodness, and I've got a new power supply on hard drive, graphics card on my computer, I'm ready to go. Ready to start putting out these video again, videos again. So, first video I'm going to start off with is just a small video. I know I have it under Mod Spotlight, but it's far from a Mod Spotlight. It's a third person, or a third party program that actually allows you to create your own Minecraft world from scratch. Now it's not an entire world, but it's whatever dimensions you make it, and then of course it being Minecraft is going to generate past this area. But so for instance, this is just a fresh, brand new map or whatever. It allows you to do many things. You know, let's open up the 3D view so I can show you guys better what it, what I'm talking about. So like here's this map. Now for instance, you can just kind of raise land, so you just kind of have this giant hill, or you can sink the land all the way in. And it just kind of allows you to actually create your own map, not just kind of a world edit it in. But it is still buggy, so a lot of people still, after they create this map that they really, really like, they will still go in and world edit it, the things that they didn't like about it, so that it'll look perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and in this video I'm just going to mess around, maybe make a small map. And just talk about the different features it lets you do. So here you would get to choose your dimensions for your, the area. You can choose the height, if it's hilly or flat. Choose the level that you'll start making your map in. And then like where your water, lo water level is at. Well since I plan on making an island, since it's really what it's best used for. Since it'll keep generating past it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and that's what I'm going to do. So we'll just go ahead and create this world. And boom. There it is. So, this, like, I've seen people make things with it already that are just crazy. It's got incredible potential. And if you're, especially if you're some of those people that are, like, really good, like, really creative and all that, you can actually get ridiculous with this. And I think it's an incredible program. Don't know why I'm doing that. I wanted to bring it up. And so I really enjoy it. So we're just going to go ahead and maybe make a small little island here. Uh, maybe bring it up. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Kind of like that. So say this is our little... Ooh, I don't like that little water thing right there. Just go ahead and get rid of that. Make this whole little area a little deeper. There we go. That looks that looks kind of cool. Okay. So say we wanted to actually just kind of make this. We don't like this little. We don't like this little hill right here. I don't like how it comes up to a point. Instead, I think it'd be kind of cool if there were some mountains there. So go ahead and come up to here. Put it on this one really hard. Oh no, I'm sinking it down. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Thought I clicked on it. There we go. Maybe I just wanted to add some really rugged mountains over here. Should really define this little peninsula. Now if you look on the screen to the right, there's the mountains I'm actually creating right now. So it's really, 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 really simple. It may look kind of complicated, but if you've ever used Photoshop at all, it's got a lot. Ooh, that was a really big mountain. It's got a lot of the same kind of features to it. Like, so say I wanted to feather, like, say like I wanted to feather something. They have a smooth tool that'll make it all kind of blend together. So any Photoshop users out there, this will feel like home to you. Kind of liking the way this looks. Maybe add a little taller mountains out here. Yeah, I like that. So maybe I want these to be snowy mountains, not grassy, sandy, dirty mountains. I don't even know what that is. Just go ahead and click on this and just kind of paint my snow in. Boom! We got snowy mountains. Now I have noticed some things about this that I'm not a huge fan of. It's say this whole area is snowy and we'll want to throw some pine trees out there. 
click on pine and just go ahead and paint some pine trees in here. Now at first I was pretty excited about that because like yeah I didn't have to add trees or anything but the problem is is these trees there will be so ho many trees right here. This will just be an overabundance of trees like a little too many in my opinion and it's it does I don't know just kind of it does things in extremities like there's not really a modest amount of anything and it's like if you do something it's going to be a lot which really isn't a horrible thing but I wasn't too excited about it so let's go ahead and make a desert over here Huh. This desert's missing something. What is it missing? I think it needs a river. Let's add a river to this beautiful little desert over here. Make it a nice little serpentining river. Now, if you've ever, like, after, maybe this is the first time you've heard of World Paint, or maybe you're just searching it up again because you got curious about it. This is not the best video. If you want to see like the potentials of world paint, this is not the best video to watch because I've played around with this for about a half an hour and then I decided to make a video on it. People get crazy with this. Now, this probably is like the worst way to make a river ever is just by sinking the land around it because if you look, look at how steep that is. That is just ridiculous. So what I do is I just kind of take this and smooth the heck out of it to try to get rid of those because it looks really really bad so if you ever want to see like the like an expert user or something go look up there's some other guys that are really 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 nifty with it which as you can see definitely is not me because I'm struggling I just got rid of my own river that I just made so I'm not quite sure what's the best way to make a river as of right now, this is my attempt at it. But I guess it really doesn't matter since this is more of a video to show you guys, not prove how awesome I am. <sighs> That's really going to bother me, though. Oh, no. Anyway. Oh, well, let's move on, I guess. So maybe we want to make this a desert biome. There's a little biome button down here. Click on deserts. And you can actually just paint this biome to, main, to make it a desert biome. Which I thought was nice. Now you can actually set the biomes themselves. So, oh no, I just made this area a desert biome. So this is a really, really fun, nice program. Especially if you're a really crafty person. Then you can really just start to do some ridiculous things with it. So, I don't know. I, I'll put a link in the description for the download. And maybe check it out. If you guys make some cool stuff, go ahead and send me a link to it or something. And I'll check it out. Maybe respond. Maybe put it in one of my videos. Use it as a map. And I will make some other videos later. We'll do some game reviews. Maybe going to do some Terra, uh, Sniper Elite V2, stuff like that. That you guys can look forward to. And I'll go ahead and show a little in-game clip of what this look map would look like now that I added these really ridiculous hills. Don't know what I was doing with these, but <laughs> I thought it'd look cool. I don't know. This thing is kind of cool, though. What's that? A pyramid. Boom. Every desert needs a pyramid. Okay. Anyway, I'll go ahead and show you guys an in-game look at this map. Here is what that map that we had just made looks like in game actually so as you can see it really did turn it into a full scale minecraft map and these mountains look absolutely amazing and as you can see just in the couple minutes that we that I took just screwing around we'd got this and I mean of course it circled all the way around because this was just the peninsula that we had made and as you can see when I told you it made a lot of trees that was not an over exaggeration at all it makes a ton of trees little too many in my opinion like that is just ridiculous that is too many there is no reason you should ever need to try to walk through a forest and have this look at this they're like one block apart this is just ridiculous and overkill just complete and utter overkill 
And anyway, well, as you can see, like, it's huge. I think the dimensions I chose were a 1128 by 1128. So it is a good size map. It's massive. And if I wasn't flying and trying to actually run across this, it would take you a while. So when would you ever really need to go on beyond this? And you can always make it longer, or make the dimensions bigger. The only difference is it'll take longer to extract, it'll make the map bigger, etc. And this program is just an amazing program. I mean, if you're really someone that's creative and pays attention to small details, like, for example, this, if you look, you can see where when I was painting my mountain snow, I got the ground beneath it, so it's no longer dirt right there. It's snow, but then it turns into dirt. And that's just obnoxious looking. So if you really just take your time and pay attention to details, you can really produce some really amazing looking things with this program. See, so here's just this desert that I quickly made, and my horrific, horrific river. Oh, that is just retarded looking. Well, anyway guys, I hope you like this small little look at World Painter. I'll put the link in the description for a download. Uh, look forward to some game reviews of... Elite Sniper V2, maybe some Terra videos, maybe some videos on The Witcher 2, all these different videos, ideas I've got going on since I no longer have school. I've got nothing better to do. So, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you guys liked, let me know what you guys would like to see or something I can do differently, and I will see you guys next time.